And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2. I am your host, Mega Shadow Fist. I suck at video games as like a commentary. And when we last left off, what were we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Well, of course, we were doing things and we were doing even more things, but what were we actually doing? We were cross examining nightly, so let's go ahead and continue. The bullet markings match the cut, there can be no doubt. Can there be no doubt? No. That's. Didn't you say it earlier? This is just. This is the decisive evidence. <laughs> well, how does it feel to have a hole blown through your reasoning? The ballistic markings matched the gun we found, so... Does that mean Nicole really was a shooter? Uh... No, there's more to it than that, obviously. I like to believe otherwise. But he's got the decisive evidence on his side, sir! Hmm, indeed. How should I proceed? If Miss Swift isn't the killer, then the ballistic markings should not match. Thoughts, Kate? Hmm, if the evidence is impossible, then maybe we should doubt the evidence itself, right? Doubt the evidence? Nicole's definitely not a criminal, so if the evidence says that she's a criminal, there must be something wrong with it. You seem awfully sure of yourself. It's a great thief's intuition. Intuition? Still, it's quite possible. Above all, Miss Swift doesn't seem like the type of person to... Um, to tell such elaborate lies. Okay, that'll be a random Japanese word for the uh, recording session. Um, kanu means a possibility. Um, kanu se means like a possibility, if you will. So like, uh, let's see, what was the previous? What was the previous sentence? Like, it's possible that it was a different gun, like a different, like a different gun. Like, uh, what was the sentence? Ah, crap! I missed it. Hmm. In court, the evidence is everything, and yet. Here I am doubting it. Which evidence do I doubt? Well, this is one that we actually need to press, so we'll do this last. None of the evidence seems particularly doubtful. Hmm? Are you sure? Well, your prosecutor's badge seems a little doubtful to me. Could be a fake. That explains the poor job you're doing here. <laughs> Oh, 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 we're actually taking damage for- oh, crap, I, I- like, I thought, like, you could just, like, say neither and then press the other stuff, okay. It's truly a draw conclusions, I don't have enough information yet. Knightley, continue with your testimony. Please tell me about the bullet and the gun. But yeah, Kanose, Kanose is a possibility, so, I'm trying to think of, like, a random sentence here, um... I, I forgot what you said. Um, well, first of all, like, I'd have to know what Nicole's Japanese name is. I mean, you could just say, like, Nicole, but... But you could say, like, Nicole wa hanin janai kanose ga aru. So, like, um, there's a possibility that she's not the, um, culprit, the killer, or whatever. If you will. Anywho, lay the hosen. Yeah, but kanose is, like, a possibility. The bullet that... Um, the bullet that killed Rook was fired from the gun you found in the audience area. Objection. Knightley, you... You're the one who should hold it. You proved it yourself. Don't tell me that you're going to betray your own logic. The bullet is stained with the victim's blood, so it's clear it took the victim's life. And the ballistic markings match the gun we found in the trash can. Nice, nice. Your face betrays your thoughts, Mr. Prosecutor. <laughs> At this rate, he'll get away. Now that you- Now that you got a firm grasp of reality, it's time to take the next step. The link between the gun and the bullet is clear, so... Who could have used the gun? Oh, it was a pre -bidding. The bullet that killed- I'm starting to miss, like, uh, the newer games, how they have, like, modern, like, um... Visual novel trope, like not tropes, but like features where you can just like look at a transcript of everything that's been said. Like I remember Kratos, like very early on in my Dual Destiny series, he made a comment saying like, "Oh wow, like because you're gonna be checking like the um, transcript like 24/7, that's gonna add like 30 episodes to your series." Like he might not have said that much, but he said it was gonna add up over time. And no, I don't, I don't, I I don't think it really made that much of a difference. In fact, actually, I think that made things a lot quicker. Anyway. The bullet that killed Rook was fired from the gun you found in the audience area. 
Who could have used the gun? Who? Indeed. You already know the answer. You just don't want to admit it, huh? Kept you waiting, huh? I know the feeling. It's probably like how I felt before. Feeling so irritated. You're just itching to pull the trigger. But, this ain't the time to be joking around. Only one person could have used that gun. Not me, because I was on stage, but what about the lady report in the audience? I was just being quiet, because there's a... A school bus? Why is a school bus passing? Like, school... Let's see, has school... No, it's it's July. It's, Ju it's July, there, there's no school going on right now. What? Do you have proof that Miss Swift fired the gun? Well there, didn't the boys in blue already prove that? But, Nicole's fingerprints weren't found in the, on the gun! And yours were all over it, pal! Well, that's because I was handling all the evidence earlier. If that lady isn't the killer, who else could it be? You're the one who cornered the assassin in the audience. <laughs> Ca capiche? In fact, from every angle on the board. All the evidence points to that young lady as the assassin who killed Rook. Capiche, I love that. Have you guys seen the anime, like, 90, 91 Days? Uh, like, it was a pretty good anime. It was like, it came out, it was like, uh, I think it was spring, maybe summer 2016. It, like, took place in, like, um, Prohibition era. Like, like, U U.S., like, 1920s U.S. during, like, um, Prohibition. Like, uh, where, like, alcohol was made illegal, because it was illegal during the 1920s in the U.S., in case you were unfamiliar with U.S. history. And... I thought it was pretty good. I know, I have I have one friend, she said that she didn't like it very much, but, um... I liked it. Anyway. All you have is points to that young lady as the assassin who killed Rook. I don't, like, it's about, like, bootlegging and, like, mafia stuff. I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I, anyway. I don't recall that being proven. Well, what exactly have you proven? Oh yeah, you proved that I fired the first bullet. But, you're forgetting one crucial thing. Why were you caught here in the first place? That's obvious, pal! We came to find the truth! Do you consider the worsening relationship with the Jung Fa to be the truth? No. Your purpose here was to solve the attempted assassination incident. My purpose here is for me to decide. It is not to be decided by the likes of you. Whatever. You spend all day arguing like this, the case is gonna be go unsolved. Just give it up already. Dreamin', or don't give it up, Luffy, dreamin'. The real criminal is that lady over there. No, the real criminal can be none other than this man. The ballistic markings match the gun we discovered in the trash can. When did Knightley have the opportunity to touch the gun? It could only have been when I handed over the evidence. Mr. Edgeworth? Is there anything else we can do? Our reasoning up until now has not been wrong. This is an ob obstacle we'll have to overcome. But doesn't he have decisive evidence? A testimony born from lies will always contain a contradiction. Firstly, I need to press Knightley for more details. Anywho, lay the holes and let's go ahead and continue. Well, actually, speaking of like Prohibition era stuff, recently, oh. I started watching um, Boardwalk Empire, which is an HBO set show, because um, it's available on Amazon Prime. So I've been watching it through like Amazon Prime. It's a pretty interesting show. Like, what shows have you guys been watching? Like TV shows. Like recently, I just finished watching Young Justice. Um, I just recently finished watching Young Justice because um, I found out that like it's been renewed for a third season, which is going to be coming out, I guess, sometime next year, and I wanted to watch it, so I did. Um, Love, love, love the show, and also Downton Abbey I've been watching, and I recently started, um, which, oh, I've recently, like, I've been interested in watching Sherlock, because, uh, I was talking to a, um, like, a friend, she, um, said that, uh, it was pretty good, so I decided that I was gonna go ahead and check it out, and I was like, hey, you should watch Downton Abbey, and this is getting kind of irrelevant. Let's go ahead and press this stuff. If the bullet, if the bullet markings match the gun, there can be no doubt. Press. 
No, that's... So, which would be the more likely outcome, the gun itself or the bullet? Well, the bullet does have his blood on it. Hmm. The bullet does have his gun, and it was found in the... whatchamacallit. The question I have, though, is how is it that a gun that was found in a trash can in a trash can in the park, how exactly was that responsible for the killing? Like, sure, like... Hmm... How do I put this? Because, like, the ballistic matching markings match up, but... If the models are exactly the same, right? They're the same exact model. Would it be possible that, like, the ballistic markings of one gun from another might be actually be like very similar because like we tend to think of it as like we tend to think of it as like this like um perfect like it's like there's one in a million each gun is 100 percent you know like there's no identical there's like each gun is 100 percent um unique and like like fingerprints um, but reality is it's not that simple. It requires hours of intense analyzation to make sure that everything's possible, make sure that everything's correct, and mistakes can be made. And if the bullets come from the same, or the same exact model, it's possible that they mistook, that they saw, like, ballistic markings that were very, very similar to the, from, to the gun, but they weren't exactly the same because but, like, they're not exactly the same, like, uh, uh, I'll just add a text annotation, I'm, I'm probably not making any sense right now. The gun! If anything suspect suspect here, it can only be the gun. The bullet was discovered just a moment ago. It couldn't have been tampered with yet. Did Knightley have a chance to tamper with the gun? You shall hand over all the evidence you've collected so far and leave this plane at once. Oh no, that, that was his... You shall evolve, whatever. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, be a good boy and do as you're told. Mm. I cannot resist any longer. That's it. You could have tamp you could have tamped with the gun at that time. There's no doubt that this gun is the real murder weapon. In that case, the owner of this gun is. Horace Knightley? Right? Is this a trick question? He must have switched the guns. Without a doubt, this is Knightley's own gun. Uh, okay, okay, that makes more sense. I, I, I guess I was thinking too outside of the box here. Knightley's revolver, Dad, updated my organizer. Oh, can you blame me? These games, you know, you forget one thing, Your Honor. <laughs> the witness is a freaking ghost. Switched with the gun found in the audience area. Matches the bullet, bullet's ballistic markings. The bullet that killed Rook was fired from the gun you found in the audience area. Okay, so now we updated this. Let me press this again. See if there's anything, any new dialogue. It's true. The markings match. However, you just don't know when to quit. Are you secretly having doubts about the evidence? You should know better than anyone that the evidence never lies. Besides, don't you know it's against the rules to yell, hold it during chess? Fair enough. <laughs> He's avoiding my question, but I can already see the answer. When he handed over the audience evidence tonight, we had uh, 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 he switched his own gun at the one we found in the trash can. So, it's only natural the ballistic markings match. Looks like your turn's over. It's my move now. What? I don't see the point of your testimony. Oh, and you think you're any better? Always rambling on and on. 
You're the one who can't make a straight point. You sure have the capacity for this, mentally speaking. There was no contradiction. I need to calm down and think things over again. No! No! What? Didn't we just... Is there like another gun? This was updated! Switch for the gun found the audience here. Okay, I guess this is just not the one that we want to present it to. Whatever. Will it kill Rook's fire from the gun you found in the audience area? Oh, we need to present it to this one. Okay. That makes more sense, actually. Nightly's revolver. Present. Nightly, you fiend! You switched the guns! The gun that matched the ballistic markings was yours all along. <laughs> Interesting choice of move. Choice of move you've made there. The switch occurred at the time you seized the evidence. When we were arguing with the president over the investigation rights. You detached, you detached the laser sight from the gun around the audience area. And attach it to your gun. Then, when you returned the evidence, you gave me your own gun. <laughs> did I did I do that? So, what you're saying is that I knew you'd want to examine the ballistic markings. Indeed. Staying one move ahead of your opponent. Isn't that the fundamental rule of chess? Hey, you're pretty good. I'm glad you feel that way, Mr. Prosecutor. But you're giving me too much credit. Besides, can you even prove I pulled the old switcheroo with the guns? Alright. Knightley's logic. Numero dos. So the gun happened to be the same model, model as mine. Pure coincidence. But, take a closer look. Only one of them has a laser pointer attached to it. I mean, it's not like the gun was, like, made with the laser pointer attached to it. You can remove it. Like, they're designed to be removable. Like, that is such a stupid argument. Right? I, I, I don't know. Maybe there's some, like, gun nut out there who's gonna be like, Oh, well, actually, there are some guns out there that are made with laser points, like, di attached directly to the main body, and you can turn it on and off. Okay, well, that's probably, like, a military model in that case. It's not, like, a civilian model, so my point still stands. Anyway, check the number of bullets left in the chamber. Only two shots fired, see? There's no evidence that I switched the guns, right? Giving you too much credit. That hardly sounds like something you'd say. Guess I'm just more modest than you. Well... Except when I'm in front of a chessboard. Hmm. But we're not in front of a chessboard. That's too bad. Don't use that as an excuse later. I didn't lose the game. I just couldn't find enough evidence. Excuse me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I guess not. You're the one who should have who should have an excuse ready. You didn't beat me at chess. You only found the evidence. Rebuttal, Knightley's logic of part two. So the gun happened to be the same model as mine. Pure coincidence. Pure coincidence. Coincidence? I think not. I demand you hand over your badge at once. You are off the you are off the force. Continue. Turn about target. End from save point. So the gun happens to be the same model as Mine, pure coincidence. Coincidence, you say. Or perhaps it was simply bound to happen. Which was it, pal? Us bodyguards need to use them to protect the president. Awkward pause, see you guys in the next episode.